Somebody said, I'm a Taurus and I always fall for Scorpio. Yeah, it's that attraction because they're opposite signs. And although opposite signs can have nothing in common at all, they're from two different ends of the spectrum, they have something magnetic about them. It's the opposition. They become spiritual mirrors for one another where even though they are so different, worlds apart, there is something that pulls them together, draws them to each other, that magnetism. And, and they are really meant to merge, merge and create. It's we recently just had the lunar eclipse. The sun was in Scorpio, the moon was in Taurus. And I thought, let's touch up on this compatibility, Scorpio and Taurus. You can use this for your sun, your moon, or your Venus. And I wanted to touch up on this again because, listen, uh, I got a couple of videos on this topic and I just, I'm looking at myself and I'm like, no girl, this video gotta go, okay? Because I get like that sometimes. Sometimes if I'm not satisfied, you know, I get rid of a video like that. Just the way I get rid of people in my life, you know, that is my Scobie Moon tendency is if, if you don't serve a purpose, if you ain't making me feel good, if you ain't making me feel comfortable, you got to go. You gotta go, okay? And and just like videos, if I look back at a video and I'm just not happy with it or it's just not making me feel comfortable or I just, I don't feel good, I'll get rid of it, you know? Um, yeah, that's definitely me. But what I'm gonna do differently in this video is read out some comments, respond to comments on my previous video that I think I recorded like probably in early 2022 about Scorpio and Taurus in um, a relationship or a friendship, just the overall compatibility of it. So with that being said, let's get started. Now then, let me start off with what I love about Taurian energy and Scorpio energy together. It can be like the calm to the storm. It can be like the earth that balances the wild fire, the, the wild ferocious water. It is energy that can merge and create just so much beauty and magic. Like, it can be a very healthy energy when two people are operating from spiritual integration, alignment, and maturity. Then it can definitely work out, you know? They can be so healing for one another. I feel like the Scorpio energy is definitely very inspiring for the Turian energy, and the Turian energy is very healing for the Scorpio energy. It's just two energies that can definitely flow together if they let go of the ego, the control, and the power struggle. Like, that is something that can definitely f up this connection is who wants to be in control who wants to be dominant who wants to take the lead i know this from personal experience you know being a very strong spirited fixed energy i like to dominate i like to be in control but when somebody else is trying to tell me what to do it just doesn't work out i do everything at my own pace it's just who i am it's just my mind my mentality how i work and there ain't nothing nobody can tell me and i'm gonna do it unless I feel like I truly want to from my heart, you know? And I find that when I've dealt with anybody with strong fixed energy and Taurus energy too, it just doesn't sit well with me when I'm being told what to do. Like I've had a Taurus man, you know, try to take the lead and, and be really alpha and I love an alpha man. What woman doesn't want an alpha man? I'm not a follower. I'm not gonna follow you along like a dog. That's something that I ain't gonna do, okay? That's where I just can't deal with Taurus energy and there's this- And sometimes I feel like Taurus energy can just be so boring and Scorpio energy is just like so dramatic. Like we're just so dramatic at times, you know, and there's always so much going on in our lives where that energy is just so volcanic and, and, and so strong and there's always some tension, something going on, which can probably get just very exhausting and overwhelming for a Taurus. Whereas for us, it's just like ecstasy and, and euphoric when I know it can be really toxic, but it's like we always need something that is constantly inspiring us, pushing us to our limits or our greatness, should I say. Now this comment's a little spicy. If I dated a Taurus, more than likely it would come to blows. Listen, I get that because I feel like, and I just know this from my personal experience as well, is that me and fixed signs just don't get on very well i mean we could if we you know we both have spiritual maturity but the thing is fixed energies are so dominant they always want to be in charge they always want to be in control they always want to take the lead it becomes like a power struggle and that's the issue with the scorpio and taurus compatibility like if they don't find that middle ground if somebody doesn't lay back then it can come to blows it becomes like a battle a power struggle a competition nobody wants to back down both of you guys want to be in control in in, in the driver's seat and 
that's how it just doesn't work out it just becomes like an ego a battle of the ego and yeah that can get real toxic so somebody said i'm a taurus and i always fall for scorpio yeah it's that attraction because they're opposite signs and although opposite signs can have nothing in common at all they're from two different ends of the spectrum they have something magnetic about them it's the opposition they become spiritual mirrors for one another where even though they are so different worlds apart there is something that pulls them together draws them to each other that magnetism and and they are really meant to merge merge and create it's this beautiful trinity so often a lot of taurians and scorpios are going to be attracted to each other although they are so different it's that difference that very difference in in terms of their traits their tendencies their personality their energy that brings them together it's like they need it. It's like the yin and the yang, basically. It's so funny I said that because this comment goes so well. Taurus man with a Scorpio wife is a balancing of the yin and the yang energy. Complementation, not confrontation. We like to bang our heads. I was like, where's this going? And talk things out at a soul level into brilliant clarity. Love that for you. Exactly. The yin and the yang and soul level talk things out, communication, yeah, when you can understand each other, you can make it work, of course. My husband is Scorpio and I'm Taurus. We are so different, but the same. Exactly. Opposites are so different. And when you say we are the same, I wonder what qualities you're talking about. Like in terms of you're very strong headed, you're very dominant, you like to be in control. When you say you're going to do something, you're going to do it. When you feel something, you feel it. And there's no moving away from that feeling, that emotion. Perhaps that's what you're talking about. It was instant love. We have so much fun together and love being with each other always. But we are both stubborn. There we go. The stubbornness. But we make it work. We are the perfect match we both feel. Listen, this could be either just so magical, so beautiful, so harmonious, just like a match made in heaven, or it can be disastrous. It really just depends on the two people you know are they able to meet eye to eye are they able to meet in the middle are they able to understand each other's languages and love each other for who they are like once you have that level of maturity you can work through absolutely anything and have a beautiful expansive relationship the most difficult, passionate, exciting, full of love and hate kind of relationship. At least I can never be bored with my Scorpio moon man. Thank you for this video. Listen, I know. when. Listen, when there's a Scorpio moon in the mix, oh, you know that's dramatic. You know that is, ugh. Sometimes it can definitely be a love and hate type of relationship because Scorpios just love. Scorpio dominant, Scorpio moons. I know this from experience too. You know, there's just going to be this push and the pull and it can be just so exhausting. It can be so overwhelming yet there's this passion this fire that just keeps you going and going and you just don't want to let go but you just got to be careful that you don't push each other too far or push the limits or cross the boundaries the line where you can't come back together like that's something to be careful of but listen uh, scorpios definitely love that push and pull and they like to put you through hell and then just to reach out and bring you back to heaven like that's them Somebody said the mythology associated with Scorpio and Taurus is Hades and Persephone. Mm, 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 mm. I get what you're trying to say because Taurus is an earth sign, but Taurus is ruled by Venus, Aphrodite, okay? But also esoterically, Taurus is Vulcan, Hephaestus. Yeah, but Scorpio will try to screw you too far and then Taurus will definitely kick Scorpio's ass and believe it, Taurus will do it right. Yeah, that's what I was saying earlier on that. Scorpios can really push you to the edge. They can really push you to your limits and really try to get into your psyche. And that can really mess up and then piss off a Taurus. Like, they're not taking none of that BS. They're not taking your games, your drama, your whatever you're trying to create. There's tension. They're just so calm and peaceful. So when you are disturbing their peace, that's when they will fight back. Like, they're not going to take none of your nonsense. If you poke at them for too long, then you're going to awaken that bull, that beast, and then it's game on. And the thing is, they're real chill. But under the surface, when you awaken that beast in them, they get so stubborn, like, a Scorpio's going to meet their match. They just take a while to get to that point. 
but once you got them, there's no going back. So yeah, it can be quite toxic. Like I said, you need spiritual maturity and spiritual alignment. And the other comment that said how they are so different yet so alike, they're also very alike in terms of they can both be resourceful. I think I read a comment as well about that, that Scorpios can also be very resourceful. Yeah, it's like a Turian is very physically resourceful, right? Um, but a Scorpio can also be physically resourceful, meaning like they're always going to be there for you when you physically need them, when you need advice, when you need care, when you need support. So to break it down, emotionally resourceful, spiritually resourceful, you know, psychologically resourceful, like they're also very resourceful just in their own unique way. Like there's nothing that they wouldn't do for you. Once they love you, they will love you till the end. So they both can be very resourceful. They can have a lot of similarities, but they just do things, feel things, experience things, want things in their own way. And everyone's different. Everyone's unique. Everyone has their own minds, their own emotions, their own personality, and we just have to learn to embrace that. We can't make people change the way we want them to be. So when you can unconditionally love one another, accept each other, the good, the bad, the ugly, the pretty, the beauty, all of it, like, and you have that spiritual maturity, you can just be in such a beautiful, expansive, harmonious relationship. But I gotta say, I do love this energy. When it works, it works very well. And when it doesn't work, it's just a match made in hell, really. So, I wanna hear from you. Let me know, what do you think about the Scorpio and Taurus compatibility? What do you like about each sign? What works well, what doesn't? I wanna hear from you in the comment section down below. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you soon. Lots of love.